Hi all, welcome to Learn IT. In the previous videos of AWS AI ML track, we had learned about Amazon Recognition Service and Amazon Foley Service. And today we are going to talk about Amazon Transcribe Service, which is a speech to text service. Using this service, we can generate text out of our audio and video files. Some of the use cases for this service are like generating transcripts for our meetings or generating subtitles for our audio video files. So guys, let's develop a simple serverless application using open source serverless framework which can help us to generate transcripts out of our audio and video files. So the workflow which we are going to target today is uploading a file to S3 and it will automatically trigger a lambda function. From lambda function, we will be placing a transcription request to transcribe service and from transcribe service, we will again write our job result to some S3 bucket and inside S3 bucket, we will have our final transcript as a result. So let's go to Visual Studio Code and create a new serverless application from scratch using serverless open source framework. So guys, let's create a new serverless app using serverless command line interface. Uh, let me fire serverless create command serverless create iPhone and we want to use template as AWS Java Maven because we want to create a Java serverless app using serverless framework and I am giving path as learn IT transcribe demo so this should create a new serverless app using AWS Java Maven as template and path is learn it transcribe demo which is a service name let's hit enter and wait for a while so guys if you are new to serverless framework you can watch the previous videos on serverless and serverless framework in serverless playlist uh, you can see it has spinned up a new template a new serverless application and we can see here learn it transcribe demo if, if we expand this we can see a java folder as well as a serverless yaml file okay if we go to serverless yaml file we can see a sample function that is hello function and it is mapped with the handler of com serverless handler that is this one handler.java so guys, let's update this file step by step to complete our target workflow. So the first thing we want is we want to trigger this lambda function from S3. So we want to add one event so that it can be triggered from S3 bucket. So let's add a new event using events uh, syntax. So I am adding a new event of type S3. So let's provide s3 as an event type and under s3 we'll have to provide details of this s3 so the first thing we have to provide is bucket name and for bucket name i am providing learn it demo or learn it we can provide transcribe demo this bucket i'll be creating using this script only so i am providing learn it transcribe demo bucket and we want to trigger this lambda function from this bucket whenever we are getting a create object on our s3 bucket so whenever a new file is getting uploaded to this s3 bucket our lambda function will be triggered so under the event i am mentioning s3 colon object created colon star so i am saying whenever a new file is getting uploaded in the s3 bucket this lambda function should be triggered okay and for this event rules we want to provide like this lambda function should be triggered only in the case of the files which are of type mp3 so let's provide suffix rule as dot mp3 So using this rule, it will only hit this lambda function 
whenever we are uploading a .mp3 file in the S3 bucket. So let's fix this syntax. And at last, uh, we want to provide this S3 bucket as existing bucket. So I am mentioning existing as true for this S3 bucket. So guys, uh, we have added a new event. This is a, that is S3 bucket, and we are saying like whenever a new object is getting created in the S3 bucket with a suffix dot mp3, just trigger this lambda function. That is hello lambda function. One more important thing we have to create is lambda execution role because we are going to hit multiple services from our lambda function. So we'll be needing a new lambda execution role that is IIM role to allow lambda functions to communicate with S3 bucket or Amazon transcribe service. So let's create a new role and assign to this lambda function. So I am going to create a new role as CloudWatch. We are also going to store our logs in CloudWatch. So let's create a new CloudWatch, uh, CloudWatch and transcribe because we want to give permission for transcribe service as well. CloudWatch and transcribe execution role or CloudWatch and transcribe role we can say. CloudWatch and transcribe access role. Okay, because we are giving permissions to Lambda function to hit CloudWatch as well as transcribe service from Lambda environment. And one more field that is we have to use is depends on because we, I am going to create a new S3 bucket and I want to create this lambda function once we create the S3 bucket. So creation of lambda function is dependent on our S3 bucket creation. So I am giving the logical resource ID of S3 bucket which I will be creating down under the resources in the same script. So guys, uh, we have added a new event. Also, we have added a lambda execution role, which we are going to create now. And also one S3 bucket dependency, which we are going to create under the resources. So let's go to resources. So you can see resources is commented right now. We are going to uncomment and we are going to add a new resource. That is one is IAM role and another is S3 bucket. So we don't want to output anything. Let's remove the output for now. So guys, you can see here, I have updated the resources and under resources, I have added one S3 bucket that is learn IT de transcribe demo bucket. The same bucket we are using under the event configuration under the Lambda function. So one of the, re one of the resource I'm creating is S3 bucket. And the next one I have is access role that is a uh, lambda execution role and it is of type IIM role let's understand this role what and all policies I have added under this execution role so the first policy I have added here is cloudwatch and transcribe access the policy name I have given is cloudwatch and transcribe access policy and under the statements you can see here I am allowing lambda function to create log group to create log streams put log events so this is all for CloudWatch access and in the next statement, I have allowed permissions for transcribe service. So from Lambda functions, we will be able to trigger Amazon transcribe service. And at last, in the last statements, I am giving S3 put object and S3 get object permissions to our Lambda function to use this S3 bucket. Now let's go to our handler function and understand the code understand the changes that I have done to accept the S3 event and process the transcription job. So guys, the first change I have done is the requested data type. So I have changed from map to S3 event because we are going to accept the event from S3 bucket. And using this S3 event, we are getting S3 notification record and from record, we are able to fetch the S3 bucket as well as the object key details. This is the key of the file that we are going to upload in our S3 bucket. 
So once we get the S3 bucket and S3 key object key details, we can use these details to create our Amazon transcribe job request. So the first thing I have created here is Amazon transcribe client. That is a standard Amazon transcribe client with region as US East one because I have in the same, I have bucket in the same region. Then I have created a new request for transcribe service. I have created a new transcription job request object and I have set the job name as source key that is the object key in the three bucket plus transcription job. For media format I have provided mp3 and for language code I have provided English US because we are going to convert mp3 to text. In the next line I have created a new media object and in this media object I have set the URL as S3 URL of our newly uploaded file. So using this media I am setting in the start transcription job request that media is this newly uploaded S3 file. And in the output I am providing the same S3 bucket from where the file is uploaded. So under the same bucket it will upload the result from the transcribe service. And at last we are firing the transcription job using our Amazon transcribe client. So guys, let's package and deploy the serverless application and validate by uploading a file in our S3 bucket. So let's package this application using SLS package command. And once it package, we'll be firing deploy command to create this cloud formation. Okay, so I'm not in the right directory. Let's go to our application directory and fire this command again sls package so you can see it has created a dot serverless and under dot serverless you can see the cloud formation template it has generated out of our serverless yaml file so let's hit sls deploy command now let's wait for some time okay it is creating a new stack now cloud formation stack let's wait for some time it will be creating a new S3 bucket and lambda function for us. Meanwhile, we can go to AWS console and check whether our cloud formation stack is working fine or not. So I am here in our cloud formation console. So if we see here, it is saying learn it demo transcribe demo dev the stack is created let's go back to visual studio code and guys you can see it has created the stack it has created a new function let's go to aws console again and check whether our s3 bucket is created or not and also our lambda function is created or not so guys you can see here it has created a new lambda function that is learn id transcribe dev demo dev hello and also if you go to our s3 bucket it would have created a new s3 bucket that is learn id transcribe s3 bucket so let's go to this bucket and check our configuration for our lambda function so let's go to learn id transcribe demo bucket and if we go to properties it should have one notification configuration for our lambda function if we see here under event notification it has a notification event configuration to learn it transcribe demo hello uh, hello lambda function with dot mp3 file and all objects create events so whenever we are uploading a new file it will trigger this lambda function so let's upload a new file in this 
S3 bucket and check whether it is working fine or not the targeted workflow so I am going to upload a new mp3 file so let's upload a new file uh, I am going to upload a script 4 uh, that is 153kb mp3 file uh, let's upload it in our s3 bucket and let's check whether it is triggering our lambda function to generate the transcription for this audio file so the file has been uploaded let's go to AWS lambda function uh, and let's go to cloudwatch to check our logs so we should have got one uh, cloudwatch log stream uh, with respect to this request newly uploaded file okay so you can see uh, we are not seeing any uh, issues with the logs like uh, no errors are there let's refresh it once I had not put any info log uh, I had just put one error log in case of uh, any exception so let's go back to our uh, S3 bucket and see if there is any file uploaded by transcribe service so you can see here uh, we have got uh, one file that is json file let's download this file and see what and all uh, this json file has okay let's open this file in notepad plus plus so guys if we look at the content of this json object this is the result json from our transcribe service and if you look at the transcripts array uh, the first transcript object we have all the uh, text uh, which is belonging to our audio file so guys this was a small uh, demo of serverless application in java to generate uh, text out of audio video files using amazon transcribe service thank you for watching this video please join me in the next video